Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're just gonna talk about the whole Shallon thing. Now I know everyone's been making videos about this. I wanted to make a video two weeks ago, but my computer broke, my new one comes tomorrow. And I was gonna wait till tomorrow to make a video, but I'm just kind of like annoyed right now by a lot of creators who are talking about this. And then also because I had a bone to pick with Shallon before any of this happened that I was gonna make a video about, but my stupid computer was broken, so I wasn't able to. And I could have just done it with my phone, but then D'Angelo put out a really good video that I'll link down below that covered everything so well that I was like, I don't need to talk about it right now, I can wait. Um, but then <laughs> I got upset today, so I'm just gonna talk about it now. If this video, you don't wanna watch it or you've already seen it a lot, cause I know I'm late, you don't have to watch it, that's totally fine, I don't care. Uh, by the way, my birthday is tomorrow on April 27th. So yeah, hey, happy birthday to me. I can't do anything. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that a lot of creators are calling Shallon a pedophile. <sighs> the word pedophile to me is a word that you don't just throw around. And what Shallon is doing is disgusting. Shallon likes 16, 15, 17 year old boys right there on the line of legality. Um, 16 isn't, but the guys that she actually sees are right there where they're legal, barely legal. And that's the type of guys that she goes for, but she's attracted to 15, 16 year olds. And she has made that perfectly clear as evidence. If you wanna watch other videos on that, you can. Uh, I'm just talking about this one aspect of it. And that is the fact that she's not a pedophile and we need to stop using that word where it doesn't belong. She isn't. A pedophile is someone who's attracted to pubescent children. That means a 20, 40, 60, 80 year old attracted to a small child or anyone who is young, like a kid, a child. Uh, 15, 16 is still a kid, but it's a completely different word that describes this. And I'm gonna have to put it on the screen because I literally cannot pronounce it to save my life. And I don't wanna butcher it <laughs> and get made fun of for it. So I'm gonna put the word either over here, or over here, somewhere on the screen. So you guys know what, what it actually is. And the definition of this is the attraction to, you know, 15, 16, 17, preteen year children. Still children, still inappropriate, still awful, still disgusting, still wrong, still awful that she picks these people just because she can manipulate them and mold them and change how they think and feel because she's older and has the power. And it is wrong and disgusting and it doesn't, it's not any better. So that's not what I'm trying to say. But what I am trying to say is that the word pedophile and pedophilia is not what she is and those words really need to stick to the people that it actually goes for and if you look up the, de the definition is what I said it is the attraction to pubescent children but in a lot of law books and like laws in different states and I don't know about federally they'll say that uh, a pedophile in court like legal jargon is somebody who is an adult who um, is attracted to a minor <sighs> And that's fine if legally that's what they do because they need a word to call all those people and to keep it, you know, that makes sense. And I get that and I understand that. But here's the thing. So I understand all that. And so you can come into my comments and tell me section and code, blah, 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 says that a pedophile is someone attracted to a minor. But what if you're 20 and she's 17? 17 is a minor. Does that make that person a pedophile? Sure, it's kind of inappropriate. But a pedophile? No, that is not a pedophile. Someone who's 19, who's dating a 16 year old. Again, I think that's weird and gross and you should be dating someone else your age, but they're not a pedophile, especially in today's world where 14 year olds look like they're freaking 20. Um, it's still wrong and inappropriate and gross and that older person should be aware. But the thing is, is that <laughs> it's the other word that I was talking about. It is not a pedophile, it's, it's just not. And you can argue with me all day. I don't care. I still think what she did was wrong. And I do not agree. I do not care for her at all. That's not what this is about. But all I'm trying to say is that stop. Stop using that word to describe Shallon or anyone else who is attracted to preteens. Because I told you what the word is for that. That is the definition for that. And it's not a pedophile. I feel like this video is going to trigger a lot of people. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get into the second part. I'll probably turn off comments if people are being really rude. But... Shallon uploaded a video where she was talking about what you should feel if your husband or boyfriend is liking, commenting, interacting with like Instagram models, porn accounts, things like that on like Instagram. This goes, I feel like further than just that, because if the guy is interacting with these girls on Instagram, liking their things and publicly acknowledging them, even though they have a significant other, they're probably also watching porn and doing other things. And let me go ahead and say before I keep going. If you're okay with this, good for you. 
like that's that's fine if this is okay for you but you should listen and hear what i have to say um if you don't care then good because that's one less thing that you have to worry about in your life is that you don't care and that's great maybe you watch it too because this isn't just a man thing this is also a woman thing women do it too women watch porn too women look at instagram models too women are following porn accounts like that that it's both it's definitely both now there is more men more men doing that and that's been proven statistically um but women do it too and a lot more than used to be uh so i'm not trying to make anyone upset if that's your opinion then that's fine and i'm going to respect you but i really ask that you respect me because i'm allowed to have my feelings and if my feelings trigger you then maybe you should really think about why that is okay so she was saying that what they do in their free time has nothing to do with you and they can do whatever they want basically and whatever like you shouldn't feel bad about it, it has nothing to do with you okay that's fine and that's great that she can think that way but that is not the way i feel and i'm just going to explain why so there is a lot of evidence a lot and they keep doing more and more studies and i highly suggest doing research on this your own research don't just listen to me about porn and also Instagram models and porn accounts on Instagram, even though they're not completely naked, what you see, how that affects your brain, it does. It changes your brain chemistry. It changes the way that you see people, the way you experience intimacy. For young men, it actually causes erectile dysfunction, not in everybody, but in a large portion of consistent, a lot of porn watchers, like they're watching consistent porn all the time. And that's how they usually get off even in a relationship, if you have to think about it to get off, or if you have to watch it to get off, and you can't do it without those things, there's a problem. And if you can't, then you have erectile dysfunction due to porn. And a lot of people say, okay, well, I watch porn all the time and I come, sorry, this is inappropriate. Um, and everything's fine, I get off. And that's great. But the problem isn't then. The erectile dysfunction comes in when you don't have it. So if you can't do it without it, then you have it. That is what you have. It has conditioned your mind to need constant change, stimulation, and novelty. And this is a real thing. And a lot of people will say it's because I'm insecure and I'm jealous and blah, blah, blah. It's not about that. It really isn't. It's about the way that it changes your partner's brain. It really changes the way that they think. And you can say it doesn't. And some guys can watch in moderation and be completely fine. But a large portion of consistent porn watchers, this is what happens to them. And they don't even realize it for a long time until they're in their 30s and 40s. And they think it's because they're getting older. It changes the way you think, the way you see things. And it's been proven that you literally cannot differentiate as far as your brain goes between the two. Why would you want your partner looking at that? Like, why would you be okay with that? That is not something that happens in my house. It's something I would never be okay with. And it's not even, I'm not controlling and anything like that. My husband has a choice and your partner should have a choice too. But if they choose to do that instead of choosing you, then you have the right not to be in that relationship. And for her to tell women, because that's specifically what she was talking about, that we shouldn't be worried about that is wrong. That is wrong. Like that is not advice you give to people. You don't tell people to just sit back and let their boyfriends chat with Instagram models. You don't do that. That's not okay. You don't do that in a relationship. If you want to do that when you're single and have the negative effects that I've already talked about, so be it. That is your business. That is your life. Whatever you want to do. But when you have a partner, unless they're totally okay with it, and which the women who are asking these questions are obviously not okay with it, why get that advice to somebody? She's just, the advice she gives people, I just don't understand. When she made the videos about the cheating week, how to cheat. Okay, that's great. You're okay with teaching people how to cheat. You're okay with telling women who are not okay with their husbands looking at other women that it's fine. What kind of advice is that? I mean, come on. Like, I'm so happy to be in a marriage that isn't progressive like all these people. Uh, like, I just, I can't. And for her to sit there and give these advice to these women who are struggling, the people who are watching her are in a bad place, most of them. Some people just watch for the entertainment, but a lot of people that watch her are in a bad place and they need, they need someone to help them and to help them get out of that place. And she consistently gives advice that is awful, awful advice. And she's mean. She's so rude. She's, I mean, I hate to say racist, but she has racist tendencies she is xenophobic, allegedly. She is okay with dating, you know, young, young men at her age. It's just gross. She has gross behavior. 
And for her to sit there and judge, Jesus, what is that? For her to sit there and judge everyone else like she is Miss Perfect, she is amazing and she has the best advice to give, is absolutely ridiculous. And I honestly feel bad for the people who have listened to her advice, the people who have cheated because she has taught them how. Um, and that, you know, she has a lot of really like big hardcore fans that are probably going to be in my comment section. If you're rude to me, I'm just going to block you or delete or um, turn off my comments because in my life at my home, I don't need people making me feel bad. <laughs> like, uh, this is my life and I don't need that. All I'm trying to sit here and say is that do not take advice from her <laughs> unless you just agree with everything that she says and you're totally fine with the things that she thinks. And if that's the case, that's your business. But all I'm saying, this is the last thing I'll say, is that if you are a man or even a woman, because women, like I said, deal with these issues too, try to give it up for 90 days. Like, unfollow all those girls on Instagram, turn a child protector on on your phone for 90 days, and try to give up all of the fantasies that you have on your phone. Get rid of them all, on your computer too, everywhere, your Xbox, wherever you watch it. Get rid of it all. And just try for 90 days not to watch it. And I guarantee you, your life will change. I guarantee it. And women too. Um, I've never experienced this personally, but there's so many forums and research about this type of stuff. And people with their own testimonies, check out Gabe Deem. I'll put him in uh, the description too, his videos. Because uh, he does a really good job of explaining things way better than I could. <sighs> It's just sad. It's sad to see someone promoting certain things and saying that certain things are okay and that this is normal and like this is how people should behave because it's not. And it's just, it's, it's sad. And I don't think that this information should be like this. Like I don't think she should be allowed to say these things. Um, and then for her to literally not acknowledge it except for on a quick Reddit post, y'all, I never would. I do drama videos and commentary. And I never would have thought to look at our Reddit page for what she has to say. And then she didn't even apologize. She just was like, sorry that you feel this way. But, you know, my fans, my Shaliners, they know what type of person I am. And you know what? She is quirky and charismatic and funny. She is pretty charming sometimes. And she's she's funny. And that's that's a good thing. But why not use all those those things that you have? to be like a good person and to give good advice because she really could be someone huge. And I mean, she kind of is, but you know what I mean? Like she could be someone who really positively affects people's lives, who changes lives, who really makes an impact. And instead of doing a positive thing for people, she literally probably has ruined lives. I mean, literally has probably ruined people's lives. Um, I mean, anyone that took the advice that she's given with the whole cheating thing, like, I mean, I just, I can't, I can't. And you can say that it was like a Halloween thing. That's fine. And I know her stands are going to like defend her to the end. And she should have defenders. If you can like nicely defend her in the comments, please do. Because everyone deserves people on their side. Um, I mean, not everyone, but she does deserve people on her side and people who will stand up for her. And please stand up for her because I don't want this comment section to hate on her. I don't want anyone to go to her and hate on her. It's not about that. But I can't just not say something with these topics because they really are things that I'm passionate to talk about. I'm going to start a series as far as the whole pornography and Instagram thing goes. Um, I'm going to start a whole series on it. I've actually had other YouTubers who are way larger than me tell me that they agree with me on these things. And these people are beautiful. And it honestly shocked me. And it made me just realize even more like this affects everyone. Like it affects people with tons of followers. It affects people with none. It affects people who are struggling in life. It affects people who are doing really well right now. Like you literally do not know and don't realize like how many people are truly affected by that, that, that. I'm not even gonna say it again because every time it comes out my mouth, I feel like I'm gonna get trouble off YouTube. <laughs> um, but anyway, stay tuned for that series if you wanna see it, if you're interested at all. Even if you don't wanna change, I think it's kind of, a good thing to occasionally immerse yourself in things that maybe you don't agree with entirely just to see what the other people have to say I like to do that I don't just look at um, pages that you know agree with what I have to say I look at others it's good to have a well-rounded idea of everything and that way you can see which parts don't make sense and which parts do um, like I said this isn't about hating on Shallon I don't know her uh, I mean I, I 
whatever, but she really needs to change and become a different person if she's going to continue on this platform or she's just being harmful. Like I've had videos taken down for harmful content where I literally shared like my medical results and that was harmful content, but Shallon can share how to cheat and that's not harmful content. It just, it doesn't make any sense to me. YouTube is weird. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video and